Nikita Sadel. Thank you, Alex. Fucking, you're right. Beautiful people. Ah, such a good crowd. Oh, lovely, lovely of them. Especially you. <laughs> sure. And like, I'm, I'm usually kind of shy about getting into the audience, but you're fucking great, so um, I'm going to do it. I'm going to talk with the audience. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> oh, hello. Yeah, that went well. Yes, oh, I'm happy with that. Right. Before I start, I have an announcement. I am officially available for product placement. If any of you have a business or a store to promote for just 20,000 yen, I'll mention it. So, 20,000 might seem expensive, but I was talking about this with some friends at the Samurai Steakhouse which has the best steak in Tokyo, a good selection of craft beer on tap, and friendly staff for a memorable dining experience. And we thought, 20,000 sounds fair. <laughs> right, that's out of the way, so comedy, yeah, that's what you're here for. Right, um, after that, now I have a confession. I, I sometimes get frustrated when women tell me they don't want to date me. At least wait till I ask. <laughs> yeah. now, the other day, a woman told me she wouldn't date me even if I was the last man on the planet. First, if I were, get the grammar right. <laughs> grammar fan, thank you. Second, if I were the last man on the planet, I would have my pick of three and a half billion women. I imagine I'd be engaged in some kind of repopulation program, but even if I had time for her, she still probably wouldn't get into the top 400 million. Maybe I could choose who to repopulate with. So today, the future generations come from Peterborough. The world needs more people with no resolutions. Another woman told me she wouldn't date me even if I gave her a million dollars. If I had a million dollars kicking around to give away like that, I could think of wiser ways to use it. I could invest in a balanced portfolio, spread the risk, maintain a good return. Or I could give a hundred women $10,000 each. Yeah, better numbers and lower standards. <laughs> but I haven't given up. No, I haven't given up. I've been using Tinder. <laughs> Anyone else use Tinder? <laughs> no and yes. <laughs> I'm not getting involved in that. I like the distance function on Tinder. Like it says, like Kyoko, six kilometers, Amanda, 10 kilometers. This is useful for me in deciding whether or not to go after a woman, because by, by keeping an eye on the distance, I can tell how quickly she's running. <laughs> oh. 1.8, 1.9, oh, fuck, she's in a taxi. <laughs> Another woman told me she wouldn't date me even if I was the best lover on the planet. So I do still have a chance with her. <laughs> and uh, another woman told me she wouldn't date me even if I had the biggest penis on the planet. If. <laughs> 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 You like that one. <laughs> it's important to be positive though, but I find even that like, success brings its challenges. Like women sometimes complain when I fall asleep after sex. They say it's really distracting for the next client. <laughs> okay. I'm glad you're a <laughs> 
Don't know why, but I'm glad. <laughs> Couple more. Oh yeah. 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 Another woman told me she wouldn't date me even if we were the last two people left alive. Left alive? Jesus. If we were living in some kind of post-apocalyptic wasteland, I don't think the concept of dating would still apply. <laughs> Hi, I was wondering if you might like to get some dinner tonight? <laughs> I know a nice derelict restaurant where we can scavenge a dog's carcass. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed that because the next one's a little horrible. <laughs> Another woman told me she wouldn't date me even if I were the last person on the planet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What I think she hadn't thought through is that if I was the last person, then she would be dead. So I could just fuck her. And now I should go. Thank you so much. Enjoy the show. Have a good night. All right.